And the reason why we talk about governance, even though this meeting is about economic and social development, is because no matter what progress you do in your little corner in Uganda, it will not be sustainable if the political environment and the policy environment does not support it. That's why we have to match all the time uh, economic and social development with political participation to ensure that women's involvement in policy makes policy more social and more economically uh, sound. In Uganda, at the last election, you will notice that it's only 69% it's of women who went out to vote. Women definitely must play a leading role in the social economic transformation of our country. We've seen the affirmative action being implemented in this country, where women occupy one third of leadership positions at a legislative level, which is parliament. And that position is a big achievement for women. We hear women talk about being marginalized in society, but we believe the gap for marginalization is reducing year after year. And as women, the cry for marginalization should not be used as a tool to gain undue advantage in society. If we, equality is to be achieved, there must be dialogue. Through dialogue, we'll be able to achieve the desired socioeconomic transformation. As Uganda's lead, leading television station, NTV Uganda commits to partner with UNFPA, and we shall continue holding more dialogues so that we bridge the gap between the old and the younger generation. I think it's important for Uganda because we are under a lot of pressure from our population and without economic growth. So as Dr. Maxim said, we can't afford to be running this race with one leg tied behind our back, which is the issue of women. And too often, the issue of women is put in a silo or a corner or an affirmative action or a charitable initiative, and it's a small thing put aside. But women are more than half the population of this country. And if we're going to be able to feed ourselves, to look after ourselves, to produce for ourselves, to be able to create the solutions to all the current problems we have, we've got to involve women at every single level.